In this lesson, we are going to talk about how the slope and similar triangles is related and how we can use similar triangles to explain why the slope is the same between any two points in a line. Um, and that's kind of a difficult task, so pay close attention. First of all, how do we know if two triangles are similar to each other? Uh, there are three basic ways. One of them is the angle-angle similarity postulate which just says if two of the angles are the same, so angle, angle, are the same or congruent to each other, that's enough information to say that the triangles are similar triangles. Um, for example, angle A and D here are congruent, and angle B and E are congruent, so the triangles are similar to each other. Um, that's one that we've talked about in class already. New ones to you, though, would be the side-side-side uh, similarity theorem, which says if the sides are all in proportion with each other, so the ratio of side AB with its corresponding side in the other triangle to DE, if that ratio is the same ratio as BC is to EF, so BC to EF, corresponding sides there, is the same ratio as AC to DF, so AC to DF, if all three of those corresponding sides form the same ratio, then I know that the triangles are similar. The third way to tell is if the sides that make up the angle um, that are congruent angles, if those, so congruent angles would be A and D in this problem, or this example, uh, if side AB is proportional with its corresponding side or forms the same ratio, so AB over DE forms the same ratio as side AC over DF, then that's enough information as well. Okay, so this one's called the side, angle, side. And notice that they're going kind of in order. So side, angle, side, uh, side, angle, side here. Whereas this one is just all three sides, and this one is two angles. Okay, so if I've got any one of these three things satisfied, two angles, all three sides, or a side, an angle, and then a side in that order, um, then I have enough information to say that the triangles themselves are similar. Okay, here we can see this green line goes through these four points that are all labeled, A, B, C, uh, D, and E. Points C and F are just there to help us to realize uh, what we know about these triangles and to calculate rise and run and such. First, let's verify that these triangles are similar to each other. Um, I know an angle, the right angle, and that is a right angle because it's formed by two sides that are along vertical and horizontal um, grid lines. Since those are formed by horizontal and vertical grid lines, then those must be right angles. Um, and that's just the nature of the coordinate plane. Now, in order to state, then, that the uh, triangles themselves are similar to each other, we would need to know that the ratios of the corresponding sides that form that angle would be um, proportional with each other. And so we are going to be using the side angle side criteria to show that these triangles are similar. Showing that triangles are similar is not a task that you need to do. What you need to do is be able to explain with similar triangles the slope must be the same along their hypotenuses. We'll get to that in just a moment. Back to the fact that these must be similar triangles. Well, the red lengths, then, should form some ratio that is equivalent to the ratio of the corresponding blue lengths. The red lengths would be 2 over 4, which simplifies to 1 half. The red lengths would be 3 over 6, which also simplifies to 1 half. So then the ratio of the corresponding sides is in proportion, and I have one congruent angle between those corresponding sides. I have satisfied the side-angle-side criteria to show these triangles must be similar to each other. Now let's look at a different ratio, and this is not the ratio of the corresponding sides, but instead the ratio of the rise over the run. Rise over run tells me what the slope is. For the triangle ABC, rise over run, let me just label this here, rise over run is 2 over 3 which is simplified, so I'm done with that. In the other triangle, DEF, uh, the rise over run ratio is 
Instead of two-thirds, it's four over six. But that simplifies to two-thirds. And notice then that the slope is the same between these two right triangles that lie on this green line. For your two exercises tonight, I want you to go back and use the slope formula, um, which should be in your notes, to find the slope of uh, segment AB. Um, and then for the second exercise, I want you to verify that the slope of AE is the same slope, also using the slope formula. Good luck, students.